Hey guys, welcome to the Droid Guy channel. How to fix Wi-Fi doesn't have a valid IP configuration error on Windows. When attempting to connect to the internet, many Windows users encounters error message stating that Wi-Fi doesn't have a valid IP configuration. This error message commonly appears during network troubleshooting diagnostics indicating that there is no internet connection available. The error can be due to various reasons such as WLAN service not functioning in the background or external interference from third-party sources. In this video, we have gathered several troubleshooting solutions that you can try to fix the error message. But before we begin, we would appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button for more troubleshooting videos. First solution, start WLAN auto configs service. The first step is to make sure that the required service is functioning in the background. If the service is not running, it is likely possible for the connection-related problems to be present. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Runbox. At Runbox, type services.msc and press Enter. And then at Services window, scroll down and locate WLAN Auto Config Service. Since the services are arranged alphabetically, the service is expected to be at the bottom, right. Click on the service and click properties from the drop-down menu. At general tab, change startup type to automatic. Then under service status, make sure it is running. If not, click start tab, click apply to apply changes made, click OK to exit, check if error message still occurs. Second solution, reinstall network driver. The internet connection on your system relies heavily on the network adapter. Therefore, it must be in good condition. However, there are instances where the issue can be attributed to damaged or corrupted drivers. To fix network-related issue, you can try reinstalling the drivers and then check if the issue will be fixed. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Runbox. At Runbox, type devmgmt.msc and press Enter. Then click on Network Drivers to expand it, then right-click the Network Driver and then select Uninstall Device from the drop-down menu. Next, click on Action tab. Then select Scan for hardware changes from the drop-down menu. Network Driver will automatically install. Exit, uh, Properties, Window, Restart Computer. Once Computer completely reboots, check if the issue still occurs. Third solution, Flush DNS. Another possible reason for the error message to appear is caused by the system's DNS server. To fix this, try to flush DNS server. To do this, type command prompt at the search bar located at the lower left. Click Run as Administrator from the drop-down menu. At Command Prompt window, type the command IP config flush DNS and press Enter. Wait for process to complete, then exit Command Prompt window, next Restart Computer, once computer completely reboots, check if the issue still occurs. Fourth solution, reset TCP IP. There are instances when wireless adapter can detect a connection but fails to accept the TCP IP address causing the system to not have a valid IP configuration as stated on the error message. To fix this, try to reset Winsock and then check if the issue will be fixed. To do this, type command prompt at the search bar located at the lower left. Click Run as Administrator from the drop-down menu. At Command Prompt window, type the following commands and press Enter after each command. Wait for each command to complete the process before typing the next command. Type Netch Winsock Reset and press Enter. Type Netch Int IP Reset and press Enter. Type IP Config Slash Release and press Enter. Then type IP Config Slash Renew and then press Enter. Next, restart computer. Once computer completely reboots, check if the issue still occurs. Fifth solution, reset network settings. Resetting your network settings is another solution that you can do to fix this issue. It basically resets all network related components. To do this, press Starter Windows button, then click Settings, an icon that looks like a gear. At Windows Settings, click Network and Internet. Depending on the Windows version you are using, Network Reset can either be found on Advanced Network Settings or at the Settings window. So in here, click on Network Reset option. Next, click on Reset Now tab to confirm I reset. Next, Restart Computer. Once Computer completely reboots, check if the issue still occurs. Sixth solution, perform a clean boot. If none of the solutions mentioned did not fix Wi-Fi, doesn't have a valid IP configuration error, it is likely possible to be caused by a third-party programs 
such as an antivirus program, try to perform a clean boot to start your computer with only the required services and apps running in the background. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Runbox. At Runbox, type msconfig and press Enter. As System Configuration window, click on Services tab. Then make sure to check the option Hide All Microsoft Services and then also click on Disable All tab. Click Apply then Next, click on Startup tab, then click Open Task Manager. Next on the app, make sure to change all app status to Disable. Next, Restart Computer. After rebooting, check if issue still occurs. And that's it. I hope this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.